Coffee. Written by Pink Imagines. On Tumblr. The smell of coffee lingered in the bedroom, though you didn't know why, because you still hadn't gotten up yet. In fact, it was only 6am. With a sigh, you rolled around to greet Shinso a good morning. Except he wasn't there. Did he even go to bed last night? Where was he? He couldn't have gone to school already. His classes didn't start until late on Thursdays. The both of you made sure that Thursday mornings would be the time when neither of you would have to be at school until the afternoon. Mostly so that you could spend at least one morning together, but also because you needed at least one morning where you could sleep in. To solve the mystery, you got out of bed, but it was so cold that your first destination was Shinso's closet. After looking for a while, you found your favorite hoodie of his and put it on. You turned around in his dorm and immediately found him at his desk, with books and empty coffee cups all around him. Oh, hi babe, he mumbled. Weren't you sleeping? Shinso, it's morning. You furrowed your brows together. Shinso looked outside the window and found it was still dark. There was no reaction from him until he looked at his watch. His eyes widened. Fuck. He groaned and collapsed on the table. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't go to sleep last night, did you? You sighed and started helping him pack his things. No. He muttered. I have a test today, so I thought I would stay up for a while. Two cups of coffee turned into ten and I... It's fine, Shinso. You kissed his temple softly. Go to bed and I'll be there soon, okay? He nodded and dragged himself to his bed. You packed up his books and put his plethora of cups in your arms, taking them to the kitchen. While you were there, you made some green tea, returning to his room with a small cup for himself. Shinso? You said softly, catching his attention from under the sheets. I made you some tea. Oh, thanks. He smiled sleepily. You sat down on the bed and handed him the cup. As you watched him slowly drink it, you felt your worries fade away with time. This wasn't the first time this had happened. He put the cup on the bedside table and cuddled up against you. <sighs> you really need to stop drinking that much coffee. You muttered as you softly scratched his scalp. <sighs> yeah. I guess. A pleased sigh escaped his lips. Wake me up in an hour before my classes start if you could. <laughs> of course. Uh, I'm sorry we can't spend the morning together. He apologized. It's okay. Just try to get some sleep. You mumbled. <sighs> Thanks, kitten.